This is a very sad day for millions and millions and tons and thousands of people who live in this area, in the suburb of Lagos, um, actually called the Jegu area, known for mass um, number of people and houses. So you see behind me smoke billowing into the sky. That's exactly the spot where the fire erupted and is still raging uh, with some level of attendance from Lagos State Fire Service and all of those first responders. But interestingly, there's something about this fire that I need to bring to your notice. Now you see, uh, it's about 500 meters away from here. Uh, but when the the, vandal, the vandals erupted the pipeline, absolutely that should be system 2B pipeline. Um, the spillage and the seepage went all the way, 360, all the way following the drain and finding itself somewhere down the street where people who were isolated, as it were, isolated totally from where the incident is, um, had themselves caught up in the fire. There are some vehicles, I understand, got burned. Um, some few minutes ago, I saw the ambulance taking away um, the victim who was, um, who was consumed by the fire. Incidentally, the question to ask is, why is this happening again uh, after like four or five years at the same spot? I got it from the residents also that this place was re renamed or christened the fire junction because some four or five years ago, same incident, same similar incident happened here, but that was attributed to the construction of the road. But today, um, owing to the suspected um, activities of vandals, we've had this fire raging and erupting and causing tremendous damage to the nation's resources, to the nation's um, legacy, because this is the first time the systems to be is actually coming under attacks by uh, vandals. Mm -hmm.